Let's go. Oh. Packing the meal is gone. Wow. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to stop that already. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, welcome to the first video version of the Bull oh. and I forgot that was there. podcast. <laughs> yes, you are seeing us in person. You are seeing our faces, albeit very far, but we're here. Everyone go ahead and wave hi. There's no one on that side of the room. Our studio audience is taking a break today. <laughs> Uh, the studio is busy. It flooded. We couldn't get there, so we decided. They can't laugh hey, in my face today. At, let's do it at home. Um, but yeah, like always, I'm Sebastian. I'm Kenzie. And I'm Dwayne. Dwayne, Dwayne. And we may or may not just have some interesting topics to talk about. Oh, you guys. oh. Um, he won't tell me. Related to board gamery, the very first one uh, being the wingspan draft da, da, da. that we just did literally that. just literally just finished it up about 10 20 minutes ago probably 20 30. Uh, no it's 20, been like 30. an hour now <laughs> 20 30 <laughs> like production times are slow when you don't when you're not in the My studio God. we're having to make do echo um oh. our cat is okay there she goes she's taking yep. a, she's making an appearance yep this is she a, wanted to say hi one of our <laughs> furry friends in the house she's the only one that has the physical capability to jump up on stuff one without scales that is true echo get down come on they don't have the ability necessarily to jump anyway okay you guys just got to see kenzie stand up because again (laughs) we are in the video part of the podcast and yes she is four eight uh okay Okay. Just kidding. All right, but we're going to talk <laughs> about uh, the draft a little bit. Hopefully, you guys will have seen the video before this episode goes live. Uh, if not, just know that it is coming soon. Most likely already on YouTube, or worst comes oh, yeah, to worst, it will be coming soon after. I will say, I think it's it'll be easy enough to talk about general feelings and we don't have to talk about every single card that we drafted but i want to open it up with i think i drafted the best card <sighs> nope i think it's close nope. mm. i think nope. it's very close no it's really funny because i agree with sebastian but Dwayne thinks i picked the best card and it is a oh. peregrine falcon <laughs> and it's gorgeous but the scissor is gorgeous tail. The thing with the the difference between the two is just art style, really. But the execution of each of them. It, they're both gorgeous cards. Immaculate. Just, yes, they are both extremely good looking cards. But something about that Peregrine Falcon looks so elegant and like regal. Yes. It just looks so nice. It looks Smooth. like you are standing a foot away from mm-hmm. a falcon, from a Peregrine Falcon in real life. And it is decided to let you gaze upon its greatness. The thing for me <laughs> is the bird, the peregrine falcon, for that card. Peregrine falcon? Okay. Oh. The peregrine falcon is the better bird of the two cards. 100%. No, arg- no argument there. But the background of the scissor tail... The flowers, the way that the the way that it was put together, makes that card the best of the best. Do not vote for Sebastian. Don't do it. But <laughs> that is the best card of the deck for me, and I am so mad. And yes, we're divorcing, and I'm getting that card in the divorce. That's the end of it. You also had a sleeper hit of a card with that, um, the owl, the eagle. Oh, oh, the Philippine eagle. Yes. Yeah. Was yes. It, that wasn't beautiful. the Philippine eagle, yeah, was it? Is, it is the Philippine eagle. Oh, yes. He's he like, was beautiful, yes. He's like yes. off. Yeah. He's like off centered, looking behind I know, coming the, up the shoulder. Side. Mm. It's such a sick looking card. But yeah. I do think that uh, Cindy's <laughs> not here for the podcast. She had to go get ready for work. But I do think that a card that she drew. I will just uh, describe it quickly. It's a barn owl. Oh, and the difference between that card and all the other cards is the perspective <laughs> the perspective of uh, uh, the bird. 
most of the cards you're seeing, you're seeing these birds posted up on trees, maybe next to their nest. They're perched somewhere. There's a couple of them in flight, usually like a side profile view. There's a few that are like from under, but it's generally pretty tame. The barn owl. He just went. Kenzie is emoting. The barn <laughs> owl. It looks like you're, he just you're sat a down mouse. into his butt. You're a mouse that's about to have a bad day, <laughs> and it's it's drawn from the bottom of the big old. Oh, ponds. I'm talking about a different one. I was talking about a different. You're card. talking about his owl. Oh, you're thinking I'm of the talking... no. Yeah, you're thinking of the Eurasian. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not thinking and about it's... the same thing. <laughs> I, you, see, you know, you know what I'm doing. Now I know what you're I'm talking, talking about, about. The one with his butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're talking about the top down card. We're talking Kay. about the, yeah, the top down. Whoops, one. I'm somewhere else. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. That is okay. <sighs> that is another one of so that's a top for a POV. <laughs> it's grabbing you. You know, it's it's pulling you. Can you tell it's in a bird. It's of looking the you in the it's eye while it eats you. It's like, look at this. Look at me. Yeah. So that's a that's a really up there card too for the perspective of I am it alone. Though. He's a beautiful um, card. But yeah, vote for me. No. On the Instagram post nope. or the video, whichever we decide to ask you Don't your opinion vote on. Vote for me. Don't do that either. I think I have the I think I had the most diversity no. when it comes to my cards. I'm gonna be honest. I, think I had mm, pretty. Okay. I had. Colors. I had different art styles. I had, I the had the creativity. So we had we each out of the pile of two hundred fifty five birds. The way that we did the draft, we ended up with forty three mm -hmm. birds each total by the end of it. So quite a lot of variety, pretty much by default. I will say, not to rag on Dwayne, but he got really like unlucky <laughs> and just <laughs> it, the turn order, the way that we did it. And kind of the luck of the draw with the cards that came out in each round. He did not <laughs> always have. <laughs> it, it just seemed like the options that came out that we were all ooing and aahing for <laughs> generally came out when, when he, he was, was like last. last. So or, we got to take two cards at a time, but the best three cards were gone. Or were the cards that I really wanted. <laughs> or the turn where he was first, there would be like six great really cards good that cards. came out. Yeah, so that's true. Everyone was getting a good pick regardless, and he just had a really hard choice. Yep. Of which Everyone else got take. two really good yep. cards, and he only got one. Yes, because we did a snake draft, so he would go first and last, while everyone else picks between him. But, I don't know. It was fun anyway. Um, also, disclaimer, cards that we did not choose and got discarded... All of those cards were amazing. All yes. of those cards yes. looked very good, very great art, very great art styles. Yes. Um, yeah. So don't if you're watching this and you made <laughs> one of those cards, don't think we're just trashing on your card because we didn't pick it. Everyone's card looks great. Yeah, they were they beautiful. Were all beautiful cards. The all fact very that creative. these people got on wingspan cards is just yeah an achievement to begin with. That's amazing. Yeah. Second disclaimer, I'd like to apologize because it's quite a long video, um, but it's worth it. Take a look at the process, you know, all of us going through and picking cards. Um, you got to see the you got to see the divorce agreement. <laughs> yeah, well, you should have seen after I picked the card that Kenzie really wanted and then she had to change her choice. It was kind of like. One eternity later. Okay. Before she That's not true. I knew what other card I card. wanted because I got the, the little baby. Little oh, baby actually, owl. Actually, yeah, the spotted owl. That was around where it That's was. Not, yeah, so I knew what other card I wanted. It, that wasn't the problem. I just, it's not the actual card. wanted the other one. But then you wouldn't have gotten the owl. But that's okay. I would have rather have had that card. That's fine. I'm getting owl. it in the divorce. I almost took the owl. Well, you freaking should have. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was a fun time. You know, I'm glad we got to hang out and do that. It did take us about two hours to get through the draft. I did not think it was going to take yeah, that Kenzie long. Kenzie was like, "What do you mean? We're just picking cards." I was like, "45, was like 45 minutes. minutes at the most." Ooh, it was. I not. mean, Dwayne had to go downstairs like four times. Twice. Four. Twice. 
I had to blow my widow nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fun time. It was, it was good. fun. It was fun. It was fun. fun Vote for Kenzie. Vote for Kenzie. That's okay. Vote for vote with your heart, you know. For Kenzie. Vote with your brain. For hey, look, Kenzie. Your hey, eyeball look. that sees talent. I'm not gonna beg for your votes. You can vote for whoever you want to. Okay. As long as that's Kenzie. We're humble over here. If you want to vote for me, go ahead. If you don't, that's fine too. I'm 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 looking for pity mm. points. Mm. Wow. It's not not gonna work. Okay. Let me I'm gonna scroll on over. Sorry for this part of the video and for this part of <gasps> the audio. Wow. You guys go ahead and fill in the time with something. Wow, put me on the spot. <laughs> go ahead. I'm not creative. Go ahead. Wait. What did you think about Mask Men? Truly. Mm. Truly. Why can't my three be to two? <laughs> this is just not how it works. I, I did not like it in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. Not a huge fan. Um, but as... As we went through the different, um, like, matches, what are they called? Seasons? Seasons. It wasn't as bad by the end. I started to, like, understand the game at least. Um, I really liked the game. I really liked the game. For context, um, Mask Men is a card shedder trying to get rid of your hands. Mm -hmm. It's a wrestling theme where you are introducing new wrestlers and or um, placing wrestlers in a kind of strength a line of strength so you're kind of building the strength of the suits as you play the game the strategy with mass men is you want to be careful when you're placing where the wrestlers are going to go because if you have cards in your hand you have to get rid of those cards so you want to make sure the cards that you have a lot of are not in the bottom because you won't win later on if your cards are if your wrestlers are not high strength. Because people can overplay you if um, you're playing cards that are on the lower strength level or the lower um, the lower tier. Well, yeah, yes. if they're not not as powerful as the other wrestlers or not as strong. It's a game of momentum, really. It really is because you if you get blocked out of a round you're, and then you get you're blocked out of two rounds, three rounds, you're like, well. I'm yep, taking the I'm negative done. Point. <laughs> I am done. Oh. So it wasn't it wasn't as bad by the end. I was enjoying myself at least. I'm mad that Sebastian won, but it's fine. Has <laughs> nothing that has nothing that fact has nothing to do with why I like the game. Mm -hmm. I just happened <laughs> to mm -hmm. like the game and just be so stupendously good at it <laughs> and unstoppably. He won by one point because I got a negative. Like, my unstoppable intelligence was just so apparent <laughs> in those moments when I f put those belts over my shoulder and claimed the championship three <laughs> times. <laughs> Actually, not three times because you got first place once. No, <laughs> you got first place in the last one. I got first place twice. Yeah, but you also got a negative point, yeah. which is the only reason I won because I also got first place twice, but then second place once. And nice. if you don't know how to play Mask Man and we're just saying all these point numbers, doesn't matter. I won in the end. That's what matters. <laughs> but it was okay. It was. It, I did not like it in the beginning. And it was better by the end. So there's a learning curve to it. Yeah. For it is. Sure. For sure. Yes. And at the end of the day, it was a game of points. And I ended up on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm I was wishing You that, started this. Well, you enabled this. Well, this brings up our next topic, which took me forever to find. <laughs> but I just wanted to confirm that we didn't have any other pressing issues. But I thought we'd bring up uh, games with interesting win conditions. Oh. Games that are not necessarily just who has the most points at the end of Ooh. X number of rounds. And I think I will bring up... I know exactly what you're going to say. A new one that we just played because it's interesting and I've been really hyped about this game anyway. Evacuation. Ah, okay. So there is a... There is a timer in the game where you have four rounds. The game is played over four rounds. But there is a way that a player can trigger, or multiple players, however many do it, can trigger the end of the game early. If the, the whole point of the game is to get your production levels on the planet that you're evacuating your colony to, getting production levels to a certain number, 
and building a certain amount of stadiums on the planet. That's really all you need to know. But if a, if a player can hit that level of production and that number of stadiums before the end of the number of rounds, then that triggers the end of the game in which all the other players get one final turn if it's during the, the actions phase, which is where most things happen. Then some of that production may or may not get taken away based on other factors that you're trying to build out throughout the game. But ultimately, the winner is the person that has the best overall production value and the third stadium built, which actually... That is not true. You don't need the stadium. It's just a penalty if you don't have it. It's the just, winner it's just the is the production. person... No, the winner is the person that does not have the lowest of the low production. The highest, lowest production marker. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You could have at the end of that 20 production in your two other resources, but only have two production in your lowest and lose. Yeah. You compare lowest. Yes. Yeah. I forgot how to... That is a very frustrating part of that game. Yeah. It's a little bit... Honestly, it's a little bit weird. And the scoring mechanism or like the way that you resolve it is kind of wonky. I do think that we played a what it, potentially like a late, very late prototype copy of the game. So maybe that's not completely fleshed out just yet. But pretty interesting win condition nonetheless. And that's something that drew me to wanting to play or learn and play that game. So, yeah. Do you have any examples? I do. So the race, a race win. Um, that's not like a, it's very similar to evacuation, right? So you're racing to get eight points and three stadiums and that kind of ends the game. But with evacuation, you're still getting penalties and losing. So if, even if you win the race to those things, you still might lose, right? That does not guarantee you a win. Whereas in games such as El Dorado, if you get to the end, if you cross that finish line, you win. Yeah, just being the first one yeah. there. So race conditions. Yeah. Um, El Dorado is actually a really awesome game if you haven't played it. I really enjoy it. It's a deck builder. So you're building a deck of cards to help you move through different types of terrains. Um, so you have to, to be able to move through the terrains, you have to have those cards in your hand. Um, and you're just trying to get to the end before the other people. Um, but So in a two-player game, because... That's what Sebastian and I have played it as. We've never played it with more people. Um, you have two guys that you're trying to get through, and you have to get them both to the end. Um, but, yeah, race conditions. Mm. Yeah. The deck building aspect in that game is pretty mm -hmm. slight. but I love it, though. I, I like the way that, uh, like, how the market, mm -hmm. you know, how yeah, like the way that the market opens up to you as the game goes on, and you kind of only have access to, like, you know, maybe some cheaper stuff, you know, unless you got a really good draw early. But do you have one? Um, It still kind of boils down to whoever has the most points. Mm -hmm. But like um, QE and High Society, it's they're two bidding games um, where some kind of item comes out in the middle of the table and everybody bids for it. But. And I'm sure mul multiple games do this, but these are the only two that I can think of at the moment where you're bidding and you're keeping s track of how much you're bidding through each round. Um, and at the end, whoever spent the most money automatically loses. Oh. And, then it's, and then it's whoever um, has the most points based on what they were able to accumulate afterwards afterwards yeah okay. so you can have the most points but if you spent a, a ton of money ton of money yep. you, you're done like you lost and i don't know if you've ever played qe but a fun part of it is there's no limit to what you can bid so like that's crazy in the beginning it's like Everybody's like kind of timid. Wait, it's like so even if you don't have that, so there, you don't have a set amount of money. It's a whiteboard, and you can write whatever you want on it. Wow. Huh. 
Um, so like, it, it's funny because every game starts like this. It's like Jeopardy. Fifty dollars, sixty dollars, sixty-one dollars, <laughs> and then by the end of our by like the last two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, we're going one point six million, <laughs> two million. 15 million oh and it's just like God. it's so funny because it plays out like that every single time unless you've played the game before because you know it's going to get to that point yeah um because you want the stuff but you're trying to be careful and not spending so much so that's like that's one of mine that i kind of like yeah i think another easy one probably social did 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 it's good. <laughs> Hold on. Social deduction games, I think, is another pretty easy one. Yeah. For example, go ahead. Blood on the Clock Tower. Mm. Exactly. And Blood on the Clock Tower is a different type of win condition, at least for the evil team. Um, Isn't it different every game? Like, the way they win could be different every game? So, the the base way to win in Clock Tower as the evil team is there needs to be two players left alive, one of them being the demon. Okay. Um, where in most social deduction games, it's just the evil team needs, needs to, to either have good team. either have the same amount or more players than good than the good team. So. But in Clock Tower, you can wipe out all of the demon's minions. So you can wipe out all of the evil team except the demon, but the evil team could still pull out a win if the demon is good enough. Um, but also, there's so many different win conditions in Clock Tower because of characters. Um, like the heretic... Um, I haven't played with it yet, but I really want to. Its thing is whatever team wins, loses. <laughs> what? So, okay. of course, you never you never want to come out as the heretic. Is that an evil person? It's a good player. It's a good player. Yeah. Um. So you never want to come out as the heretic because if you tell the demon, demon will just kill himself. Yep. And good team wins, but they really lose because the heretic yep. is in the game. Um. Wow, there's also like really so you want to pretend that one. to be someone else. There's also like um, the mastermind who is on the evil team. If the demon is killed, you play for one more day, and whatever if someone is executed that day, that team loses. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so it's I could talk about it for hours. That game sounds so interesting. <laughs> I'd really like to play it one day. Man, I, I would that. love to teach wow. you. I know mm. that you could play it for hours. <laughs> Maybe Clock Tower and like uh, MF or dude. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so I just took a little peeky peek back here. And there's actually a couple. Um, I do want to give a little shout out to Whirling Witchcraft, which uh, is honestly pretty unique in its win condition in that. the, the So the base of the, the entire game is that you are a witch making, casting spells to fill up your cauldron with a bunch of stuff. And at the end of a round, you send all of that stuff over to one of the witches on, on, on one of your sides. Mm -hmm. If the witch cannot hold all of that stuff, it, go, it essentially overflows and they basically take damage. If they would ever overflow to a certain amount, I think it's they five things, they yeah. overflow, they blow up, and they're out of the game. And so the entire point of the game is to be the last witch standing by blowing up all the other witches' cauldrons with a bunch of ingredients that they oh, nice. can't hold and can't mm -hmm. use and can't get rid of. Pretty interesting one, I think. I'm actually, I will say, though, as an extra, a lot of, I feel like a lot of victory conditions... A lot of games that don't use points as victory conditions are like our race games. Because that feels like, I guess that's an easy one to make into a I board mean, game format. What else can you really do? What other things can you win with? You can, well. Like elimination, like Whirling Witchcraft. Yeah. But like, 
what games that are like strategic and competitive that aren't points that aren't just straight up like knock the person out or get to somewhere first knock everyone out or get to somewhere first that's pretty interesting maybe because i guess trivia games are all based on points too so seems in in general it's basically elimination or a race Mm -hmm. there's also games where it's not one winner but it's one loser that's mean yeah (laughs) So, like, if you're, like, the first person to something, something. Isn't that mostly, you're, like, social deduction games? No. Um, I have a card game that does it. Um, it's, like, if you you don't want cards. So, the whole purpose of the game is bluffing and stuff like that. You're giving people cards and you're telling them, this is this card. Um, And then they can call your bluff. So bullshit? Pretty much. Okay. (laughs) You flip a card. If it's wrong, if you, if they were, if they were right, but you called them on it, you keep it. Bullshit? They keep it. Yep. That's the game? Yeah. Okay. Sure. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, if you collect a certain um like one of each suit or okay. like four of one suit you are the loser oh yeah so oh. like that's an example of one that i know of I off question. the top of my head would you guys consider like trick taking games to be points like you took a certain number of tricks yeah Yes. I that's basically a point. I mean, spades. That's it's points. Yeah, but there are different like trick taking games that don't. It's not like a point system. Because there's also trick taking games where you don't want tricks, like you don't want to win. Yeah. So like, what's the? What's the win condition? How do you win? Right. That's tough. Like I, I tried to think card shedding game. Right. You should talk about Mask Man, Scout. It's. What's the what's the win condition? Most points. Yeah. Like because yeah, you're you're trying Most to Most points at the end points. of the rounds. So I don't know, it's kinda hard because even games were like I mean masked men. It's points. Yeah. Just one or two points. It's low points, but yeah, it's still but points. it's still technically points. That's a hard one. That's but I feel like also with Mask Men and Scout, yeah, I feel like you could play those one round as a game. It'd be really short, wrong. but I feel like you could like, okay, we've got time out. for a 10 minute game. Just play one round and that's the game. Yeah. Whoever, whoever sheds their cards first wins. Yeah. So you're talking about house rules. You're talking about disrespecting the design, <laughs> the heart of the, of the designer in the game. And just, uh, <laughs> well, cause, cause startups does it. And Mass Men, Scout, and Startups are all the same company, uh, Point Games. Point. Um, startups is, it's designed to be played as one round is the game, but you can play it as Multiple four rounds yeah. with the same kind of thing. First player, or the first winner gets plus two, then plus one, then last gets negative one. Ooh. So you can turn it as... You can turn it from a one round whole game into a four round game if you so please. Okay. Chess. The win condition is not points. Mm-mm. Yeah. You're just, but I mean, it's elimination. Trying to checkmate the, not really, because that's not the point of it. I mean, you're trying to eliminate the other player, you're trying to take out all of their pieces. That's not really the point of it. Yeah. It's an aspect of the game, but the main objective is trapping the king. Yes. Because you could win with left piece. With <laughs> left piece. Well, well, you could. <laughs> <laughs> you could win with less pieces in chess, if you're like that. I'm not that good at chess. I love chess. Challenge I'm me any so day. Bad. Rated 250 right here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. No, I actually am 250. But if you know anything about chess, you know that that is that like, is not good. That's like a <laughs> five year old's level of. Probably of playing chess, but I'm pretty I like sure the game. F- some five year olds are probably 
way higher. Another than one, but I think this is kind of sure. it's pretty social deduction, but not alone. The one where you all win or you all lose. Right. So either yeah. one person wins and everybody else loses, or one person loses and everybody else wins. Yeah, not alone. We did mention that. I think was that last week that we mentioned. We've that? talked about it a few times, I think. Yeah, but yeah, you uh, you you have a, a track for basically your success, your successes in capturing the enemies or the the survivors, whatever they're called. If you're the hunter, each time you catch a survivor, you move up a track. Each round that no one gets caught, the survivors move up. Mm. And actually, actually, I think they move up every round. But I think if no one gets caught, it goes an extra step, if I remember that correctly. But you're basically, actually, you it's know what game kind of a race. Has an interesting win condition. Basically, a race mechanic. What? For every different character of the thousands of characters you can buy in each different box. Thousands. Villainous. 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 <laughs> oh, that's true. Each that different character has true. a different win condition. And what you have to, it's like three different objectives you have to meet, right? Is it? No. Is it I mean, it, it just depends on the character. Characters. Like, I haven't played very many times, but. Like, one I can think of is, is, uh, uh, Hades. How you have to walk the Titans from the left location all the way to Mount Olympus. And then, like, you got uh, Prince John, who would just collect 20 power. Get a bunch of yeah. money. Yeah. So each different character has a different win condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, but you that. have other characters playing to, A, stop you from doing your win condition, mm -hmm. while B, also trying to meet their own win conditions. Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Is it fair to call it a race? I wouldn't think that that's a race. Not not Because you don't all have the same finish line. But it's all... First to get to something, which but honestly, it's, it's honestly, that's just a game. It's different, in, that's just a game in general. Yeah. yeah, I do think it's not fair to call it a race to something because, like you said, different different finish lines. Yeah, I got rubber tongue right now, man. I don't know. Um, no, it's a, villainous is a great example for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure, you could probably also take like. Any of the trading card games, Magic Pokemon, which is essentially just player elimination, but you have well, multiple, yeah. quote unquote, lives and soldiers that you're deploying depending on what game, playing Magic or mm. Pokemon, for example. But yeah, um, not or like, how about like Flux? Like a really simple card game, um, but where the the goal of the game is always changing. I think I've only played. I've never played. I think Flux I've before. played that once, and I can't super remember. But I do so remember that pretty much. Like, w if what I can remember from it is like, you have a hand of cards, and there's a goal card in the ta on the table. That's how to win the game, and everybody's working towards that. But people can play cards that change the the oh, end, that change the end game. Cool. Yeah, um, or like <laughs> it's it's there's there's one card game I can't remember what it's called. It's really stupid. It's so <laughs> dumb. But again, there's one goal card that starts on the table, and everybody's working towards it. But instead of replacing the thing you just add it adds yeah. to it so I don't know it what just talking about, but it sense. continues to add to the thing so you just have to keep doing more and more and more to try to win the game and i think i think that's pretty cool it's See, a really dumb game it's so stupid i would call that a race because everybody has the same objective yeah that's that that's fair yeah. that makes sense well then is every game not an engine builder. No. No. Because you're kind of working towards something in every game, playing cards. I guess. But not, you're not, not always building is, upon something to and be you're able not to gaining that permanent bonus. Or yeah, you're not building like a, yeah. A, 
machine in which you're gaining benefits yeah. may, mayhaps permanently. Yeah, I said mayhaps. mayhaps. What do you do about it? <laughs> Mayhapsly. Oh, I think that was a pretty thorough, thorough uh, inspection of that topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And you can see us. La, la. And you can see us. You can look at us. You can inspect well, our make, person. I'm looking at you right now. Well, I make faces while you guys look. say the wrong thing. What's the wrong thing? I don't know. I'm just, I make faces at you. Look. What was the question again? Look at okay. How many? How, how I have many order in the court. Or I need okay, to that take was that a away really from long you. one. Yeah, I've got this soundboard thing. And actually, Kenzie? Objection. Here's, here's a. <laughs> Wait, you, you asked the question. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Those two were from the same one. <laughs> you asked the question. Well, they sounded similar. You yeah. asked the question. They might be from the same exact, the same exact clip. I'm gonna. I am gonna have to. Uh, hey, Kenzie, hmm. you suck. Boom! Roasted. <laughs> that wasn't Michael Scott, so I'm just. Oh, uh, was it not? It no. sounded like him. No, it did not. It wasn't in the same cadence. He says, "Boom, roasted." That was not Michael Scott. Yeah, it didn't sound like the same cadence. That's what I'm saying. You literally said it sounded like him. Objection hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Okay, next topic we're going to talk about that we've been trying to get to for weeks is the aspect of uh, something that Dwayne sent me that I have to read <laughs> from my notes. Social gaming, right? Because I forgot it. Oh, yeah. That one? Social aspects yeah. of yeah. gaming and all its implications. Oh, implications sounds bad. <laughs> like that makes that topic sound so like creepy, dooming. You saying that is an implication on its own. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so I'll let Dwayne go ahead and open this up. So I mean, more so like, why? Why? Like, why are you playing games? Is it? Are you competitive? Are you winning? Mm -mm. Are you wanting to win? Nope. Well, obviously everybody wants to win. <laughs> but is winning the game more important than playing the game with people? Because I just want to play with the toys that come in the boxes. That's right. <laughs> like for me, for me, um, I don't care about winning, really. I just like playing with If we look at our people. stats, very clear to see. Dwayne does not care about winning. No, I I'm don't win. I'm just kidding. I don't win a lot, and I've uh, I've accepted that fact. Um, but yeah, I am very much more so. I'm playing with the people around me. Um, I've also started with like some of my game groups where, in the middle of us playing, we're just we we just start talking, and at one point, like we're just. Whose turn is it again? Yeah, that question. Whose Who turn, turn is it? Because <laughs> you just spent 30 minutes in a tangent. Even if we're not talking and we're just playing a game and someone says, whose turn is it? You will laugh. Because it never it's fails. Such a, it's just such a funny question. It's just, whose, turn, <laughs> whose turn is it? And yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I like playing with people more than I like winning the game. That explains why you like social deduction games. It does explain a little bit. Because it has a lot, a lot of people. Playing with people. <laughs> you know what's um, funny, though, I, is sometimes for me, because I do like this, like, obviously the social aspect of, like, getting together with a group of people to sit down and have a medium in which we all have a common goal, right? Mm -hmm. At least a common objective to win the game, right? But sometimes I'll sit down with people and we have conversations, right? You're playing the game. You're having a smooth conversation, talking the whole time, whatever. Sometimes I'm playing a game with people who I, I love, I like, <laughs> enjoy. We don't say a word for 40 minutes while we're playing the game. Why are you looking at me? Because everyone is so intent <laughs> and focused. Um, and sometimes it's a way to engage with a person without having to like have that mental load you can kind of take a little break from like you know i don't know like <laughs> talking yeah. and i don't know it's just easy way to like spend some time with someone that's lower pressure i don't know it's weird but yeah do you have any input on that me 
Um, <laughs> I sat on video chat with a friend playing games. And we talked quite a bit, and it was great. It was fantastic to catch up with her. Um, but also, for a lot of it, she just watched me as I sat there with my eyebrows furrowed. <laughs> and she laughed at me, and she asked me if I was okay. And I was. I was fine. I was just concentrating on the game. And, you know, that's just that's how it goes sometimes. You just you also can get in those points where you're – you're good with talking, but you also like just need to focus. And I think we were playing is I don't think it was tapestry because at that point tapestry, I just check out halfway through the game because like I said, it, it makes my head hurt. Um, there's just so many things you can do. You just have to give up sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was castles that we were playing because we were playing on um, BGA. If you didn't know, you can play castles on BGA. It's fantastic. It's easy. They do all the cleanup for you. Um, but I was just, I was just in there. And I was like trying to figure <laughs> out what I wanted to do. And I was like, I have to do this to be able to do this. And then there was a move where I was like, why did you do that? And I was like, why did you not do that? I was like, you totally screwed yourself. And she was like, I was not really paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you guys are talking. Yes. And yeah. I was like, oh, I feel bad, but like, that's really good for you. And I can't let you do it again. Like, I'm not going to give you that opportunity again. You're going to, you're going to have her deal with the consequences. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she got me back with Ark Nova later on, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a place where social is good, mm -hmm. but it's also where my mind goes to use itself sometimes too. Like I like getting the deeply brain involved in the game. Sometimes it's really nice for me. I was leaving work the other day and I was talking to someone and they were like, what do you, what do you want to do? He's like, I don't want to go home and nap. And I was like, I just want to go play a board game. Yeah. And he was like, what are you talking about? Like, aren't you tired? And I was like, I'm exhausted, but I just want to use my brain. Mm -hmm. I just want to totally exhaust my brain. For an hour and a half and play a board game. Yeah. I just want to do it. Plus, I've just been super into really long games and big games lately. I just I want to play Ark Nova 60,000 times. It's great. It's a great game. I just want to. Anna, Expeditions, I'm just, I just want to play games that are making my head hurt. It's fine. It's fine. Dwayne, you're not much of an online gamer, are you? No. That kind of, that kind of, the uh, importance of the social aspect of, of it the fact that you're not sitting down with people like you're just signing it, it is one thing because it's a little bit weird because online interactions they can connect you with people who are further away like that but also you're, you're just sitting in a dark too, room yeah. you're you're sitting in a in a room by yourself i would you know, i would sometimes. rather just play a video game at that point yeah i disagree especially if you're well if the alternative is playing with Three strangers on BGA who okay, are not going to okay, reply okay. in the chat yes. anyway. I get that. Because like, then, yeah. Um, <laughs> back to clock tower. Um, <laughs> I I would rarely ever play clock tower online. Um, that's way different though. I just like yeah, it is different. I I like the physical. I like physically being there. I like being at a table. I like touching the pieces. Mm -hmm. I like moving stuff around. I like talking to people who are right there. You. You <laughs> right there watching this video. I like talking to you. Um, um that's what that's what I'm playing the game for. Is to be around people. Yeah. And and perform. Be in that space. <laughs> If I want to play online, I would rather just play a video game. Um, it just doesn't feel the same online to me. Yeah. Of course, to me. I agree. But sometimes when you want to play with your people, you and gotta, of course, you like gotta if sit somebody's, down with a glass of wine and some pizza and play on BGA. If somebody's your not are across the world. Yeah. If somebody's in a different state or a different country, of course, you have no choice. Um, 
but to do that. But I'm yeah. sad some of my people are across the world. I'm gonna cry. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Dwayne, what would I you do? <laughs> what would you do? You're moving to you're moving to Kentucky tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Middle of nowhere. Would you play on BGA? Um, would you start playing on BGA? <laughs> or if are you, you trying for your life to form <laughs> some sort of in-person group, even if it's like, I w- oh, we're going to play Euchre or whatever like old person game. Euchre, I would that's what you went to? I would definitely start looking around for sure. But That'd be your, I would like, never talk to if you guys again. If y'all asked me to, I, I would. I Aww. would hop online. But the online part wouldn't be your priority to connect with like the people you already know. You'd be like, all right, well, I want to find somewhere to go. Yeah. Wow. Not forgetting about y'all. You heard it y'all. here, guys. Not he left, forgetting about he y'all. He would get on the internet learn, and talk to us. You'd have to learn how to probably play like backgammon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Moncala. All those old that person, actually, but that actually kind of like segues into something else where I've met so many people mm-hmm. because of board games. <clears throat> <laughs> um, Kevin and and Enrique. What is yeah. his name? I don't know who Kevin is. Who? <laughs> Not to name drop. You don't know these people, um, but. No, 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 no. She wanted to n- hear the nickname. Oh, oh, my baby boo. Yeah, my baby boo, Kevin. There you go. There you go. My pookie bear. Yeah, there you go. There <laughs> you um, go. At, at one point, like two years ago, it was literally just me and Matt. Oh. Like wow. me and Matt just playing a game once a week at the printed meeple. Um, and I was fighting for my life, trying to... Trying to do this more than once a week, I could barely get twice. I would, I got, I would get a new job, and it'd be like, "Yo, you play games? You play games? games? Anyone here play board games?" And I would, all right, my two weeks. I would get like one or two people. I would get like one or two people who would come. We did it like twice a week, and then it was just like, kind of fell out. Um, but now, jump to today. Where I'm playing board games like every day. Like literally every single day. God, you're so cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Look Thank at you. you. Yeah. I wish I could play I board do. games every single day. You could play board games every single day. No, I think we try. Have Ark Nova set up when I get home? I think we try. We we do pretty good. You know? Just have it set up? I think here's the thing. We mostly play right now. We're kind of playing the Ark Nova Waits mm-hmm. games. So we're lucky if we can mm-hmm. fit one of those games in between when Kenzie gets to work, yeah. making sure the kids are taken care of, you know, cooking food. We do have kids. Getting ready for the next day. Sometimes. Chores <laughs> and all that stuff. Like time. No, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, I time know. I think time is the biggest thing. Imagine if we could pause time. If you could pause time for one for one entire game every day, if you could pause time, how often would you use that power? Every time? Every day? I mean, yes. I'm confused. That's an easy question. It's basically well, you got you gotta think you're existing for three hours and the world is not moving. So you're affecting like if you're adding three hours to every day for a month, how long are you waiting till like, for example, our daughter's next birthday, right? Yeah, but that's nothing else is going to change. I just get to play a board game for free for three hours. <laughs> it's just everything's going to take so much longer. Though. OK, that's something that you care about. I get to that's pause true. time that's and true. play a board game <laughs> and then everything just keeps happening after. OK. Let me try and make this more of... You want to make it harder for me? I want to make it more of a decision. Okay. Ah, It doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. I was going to say you can always find the time to like skip. I don't know how to say it. 
you start a game at five o'clock, right? For you, time doesn't move. You take two hours to play the game, and then you jump back in, and it's seven o'clock. That's play. What? That's normal. What I just described. That's what happens every day. <laughs> what that's, I just described is time. the normal speed of time. <laughs> that's just time. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a smart man. <laughs> Jeez, okay, okay. That uh, midnight is hitting you, huh? For real. Do you guys have any late production hours, by the way? Do you guys have any... Um, I forgot what I was going <laughs> to oh, say. Goodness wow. gracious. My brain is... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear like uh, something dumb like that. You know, like what's your... Thing that you what would, would like. make me think if I wanted to play a board game or not? Yeah, sure. It's mostly just spending time with the kids. Yeah. Because it takes time away from that. Like, so I changed jobs recently. So I wasn't getting home before until like 5.30. And now I get home at 3. Yeah. So that. We have more time. It adds because, day. I mean, getting out of work at 5, 5.30, wasn't getting home until 30 minutes later. Then the girls go to bed at 8. So that time was just so limited with dinner and trying to get them to bed and then me getting home. Well, getting home and decompressing a exactly. little bit too. Yeah. You didn't let me get there. That was next. That was Sorry. <laughs> I just mansplained your you day. You did. You did. Thanks for that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but now it's not quite as bad. Um, so I'm, I get home usually anytime between 3 and 3.30. So I have a little bit of time to be able to decompress and then pull out a game and then we have a little bit of time between then and dinner where we can hang out with the girls or do what they want or go on a walk because it's finally starting to cool down here mm-hmm. i don't know just do stuff together and hang out and it's it's a lot better i don't feel bad playing a two and a half hour game yeah do i have a hypothetical for you oh god oh. is it a real hypothetical you or can a real play life thing? you can play you can play a game every single day for the rest of your life, guaranteed, right? If you want to, <laughs> only if you want to. Mm-hmm. And actually, you can play however many games you want, but at least one guaranteed for the rest of your life. Where am I going with this? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You have, a two, you have two choices. Every game that you play for the rest of your life, you always have the perfect amount of players but you can never pick the game again oh or you only have one person to play with and you can pick the game if you want oh, that's easy. is it that's easy so easy i know what you pick i know what i'd pick easy have one person pick yep. the game oh well that's easy you me. know i can't choose the other thing because That's true. <laughs> but that's, but here's, and here's the thing. Clock tower doesn't work at two players. You'll never get to pick it. So you have to hope that someone else will pick clock tower. That is also true. Which I, I mean, the, granted, for the past like couple months, I've been playing games. Other people that are, are either y'all's or Kevin's. Yeah. And Kevin and we have very similar collections now. Yeah. So like, which I'm fine with. I I was in my very slim, hmm. this is my kind of game uh, area. Like, if it wasn't for you, I probably would have never played Brass. <sighs> if, if nobody, if somebody didn't game. come to me and say, hey, do you want to play this? I probably would have never played brass on my own accord. Yeah. I probably uh, would have never would played. A little bit brighter, but one brilliant game less. Well, he's only got to even play it once, which to be honest, I don't think you get the full. You don't. You just, you're just. You've only played it once. Your brain yeah. just oh hurts. Oh, God. Your brain just hurts after that first play. <laughs> dude. Honestly, after. You like, have to play like four more times. I hated that game. I hated it. I liked it. I couldn't stand I really it. I really liked the first it. three or four plays. 
He had to beg me, almost as bad as Dominant Species. He had to beg me to play that game, and now I'm begging him to bring it up. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to take that over. Yeah, you're woman-splaining. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, I had, I definitely had my own, my area. Like, medium weight. Animal. Animal <laughs> slash fantasy. You never would have had Habitats. Style games. I probably would have found habitats. <laughs> I I never, but again, never, <laughs> never would have played brass. Never would have played oh, castles gosh. of castles Burgundy. Is an amazing game. Uh, what else? Is We're gonna. Up, what else is up here? We got you. We got you. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. Did you? It was me, Kevin, Enrique, and Enrique pulled you in. For what brass? For brass. No, you did. Okay. Because that was the oh, day. That was the day we met. Okay. Because you walked. <laughs> you you walked. He walked in, and had brass. And, and Enrique. Like Enrique. Do it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. Enrique. Enrique pulled you over, because it was me, him, and Kevin. Okay. He pulled you over. You had brass. Kevin knew how to play. Well, y'all both knew how to play because y'all have played it multiple times. Enrique knew, has played it. I was the only one who, ne who never played it. And I'll play anything. So, and y'all all liked it, of course. So y'all threw, threw it down. and So I put I the game it. board down and Dwayne was like, where's the color at? <laughs> this is just, oh, there's a dark side. This is just grayscale. This is the light side. And that's why I said you'd be a little bit brighter. <laughs> but one brilliant game was. <laughs> but yeah. 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 Which is also into that social aspect. Like, because I met you and Kevin, or y'all and Kevin, I should say. Um, you didn't meet me until like, what, three weeks later? Yeah, I was just that's like, fair. I do have a wife. She goes to another school, but she's real. You totally. can finally, finally come meet her. Actually, it was it took me begging, baby, please. Yeah, please. tell them, tell them, tell, tell them, them to come to our house. Come here and play games. <laughs> I want, I want to join. I want to play games. But yeah, I probably would have never played anything like that on my own, at least. Was that was Brass Birmingham like the most complex game you've played up until that point? I would, I would assume no. Didn't you say Encyclopedia was? Brass Birmingham was the first one we played. Probably. You really think so? I think so. Well, Brass is not easy. That's what I'm saying. I, I like I know, but he's been gaming for a long time, so I would say the most complicated game that I played. And it's not even complicated. It's just that teach. Probably Ark Nova. Ark Nova's a lot. That was probably the heaviest game I've played before Brass. And you feel like Brass is more complex? Def Brass is definitely more. What complex. about Encyclopedia? Maybe Where strategically. Uh, I would throw Encyclopedia in, bet in, between. in between the two. Really? Like, I would put it right. If, if Ark Nova's here and Brass is here, I would put Encyclopedia, like, right there. Like, literally... Right in front of Ark Nova, hmm. because with Ark Nova, it was a lot at the beginning. It was a lot of a teach, a lot of information. But after like turn three, I'm like, oh, this is it. Gotcha. Okay, brass. It was a lot at the teach, a lot of information. It didn't take me. I feel till bad like, about teaching that game. <laughs> it didn't take me till like halfway through the second phase. For it to click and be like, okay, now I see why I've been doing this or why other people have been doing this. Encyclopedia, it took me like, it took me a couple rounds to to I... figure out everything. Like wow. all of the turns or all of the actions, I should say. 
and, and why like, I should do those yeah. and when I should do those. I cannot wait for you to play brass again and be like, wait, did I actually even understand this game? <laughs> <laughs> probably not. I I say I say it clicked. I probably am completely wrong. Yeah, we, do, we definitely got to play. I'm sure one of us is going to put her in a top five. I'll talk about that here in a minute. No, we'll sneak peek it, but we're not going to talk all about it yet. About the the yeah, event, we'll sneak peek it. I don't want to, I don't want to get too much. Away what yet. do you mean sneak peek in? Ooh. I know Kenzie's teasing y'all. What are we talking about? I know. We'll talk about it a little bit. <laughs> I don't wanna, we'll talk about it next time. Not next this, time? Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I guess that pretty. Uh, I have nowhere else to go after that. I, that was pretty much going to be my next thing. You guys have anything else you want to add? Um. Uh. Play games. Meet people. Read some books. It's fun. Yeah. Pet some yeah. snakes. Um, I think that's all I've got <laughs> on, that, on that topic. All right. Well, that is going to be all for this week's episode of the podcast. Sorry if we seem a little bit loopy. Delirious. It is pretty late, but... Um, <laughs> we also just filmed a whole other video before this. We just filmed this. a whole other video, which hopefully you guys will see, see before this. Before this, so that you kind of, you know, you have more context to the first part of the podcast. Um, but yeah, if you're listening on Spotify, thanks for listening. Um, if there's, uh, you know, if you are interested in checking out the YouTube channel to see some future videos then go ahead and jump over to our YouTube channel, you can find all the links in our bio on Instagram. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, you're one of our first Ooh. watchers and hopefully subscribers to the channel. And we want to say thank you for that. Yeah. And we hope to have your continued support and... That's going to be all for this episode of the pod. Bye.